Okay, welcome to the Aileron Designs Track Build Series Beginner Tutorial. I just want to drive a train edition. So let's go ahead and get started. First thing you're going to do is go into the play menu. You're going to go host a server and you're going to give your server a name and a password. And then in here you have save game, you won't have anything. Go ahead and start your server. Okay, here we are at Railroads Online. We're loading up our screen now. Spawn in. This is your spawning yard. This is where everything you purchase is going to come from. Your first thing you're going to do is come in here, go to G menu. Locomotives. We're going to pick up some tier one log cars. I want you to order a couple of these. Spawn into your spawning yard. Purchase a few more of these. Have $1,100 left. That's good. Betsy can't haul more, it's more than that. So we're going to stop there. We're going to put a pin in here. A link. Pin in the link. Sorry. Left click, right click, right click. I always like to do the one side of your car. Just the front side typically is good. Firewood in. Left click to grab the firewood. Duck down with your Click and drag to open it up, right click to throw the firewood in, left click and drag without pressure because this is all about steam. Now, right uh, G menu again, go to logging. You want to clear out the trees from down here. Left click, you can just hold left click and walk into the trees till they smoke. Usually about a foot or two off the base is enough to clear these out. Be doing a lot of logging. File here. Now, if you were to derail your train, smash something, you can only rerail it outside of the spawning yard. You can't move it, you can't delete anything in here. You can't delete the water tower, that's about it. Um, placing a water tower, you're gonna press the G menu, groundwork, constant grade. So let's say you run out of steam, you need one here. I would put a grade out like this. Left click, right click to stop it. You're going to take your facilities, you're going to build a water tower. You want to put it so the boards match up to the edge of the ties. And then there you go. Now you've got a nice centered water tower. You'll grab this, pull it down to fill up with water. Water will start coming out now. To fill Betsy up, you will need to open up the boiler lid there, or the reservoir. In the reservoir, you can stick your head in and see that it's full of water. We're good to go. Also, on Betsy, if you look here, you can see the water level. Um, we will get more into that as she steams up. Here is our freight depot. That's where you're going to end up selling any excess stuff that you want to just make money off of. So you can go in and pick up tons of logs and bring them down here. Bring them all the way back here to sell them if the sawmill is full. So the objective here, you press M. We're trying to get to the logging camp to pick up logs, and we're going to deliver them to the sawmill. The excess stuff we would bring back to the freight depot. So we got in here, G menu, rails, three foot rail, come in here where it snaps, get the link, click it, left click, drag, walk forward, and stop right about here. You right click to let go, you got a pretty smooth track, not too bad. And we're gonna log our way through for a little bit here while she's still warming up. Start heading in the direction of the sawmill. Is that hill we kind of have to go both places anyway, so it's not a big deal. Sort of head that direction no matter what. So we're going to just run through the woods as far as we can. You gain five experience points per tree. If you press P, you can see your experience points. Right now I have 335. 
I need a thousand to get to level one. Level two. Okay, here we are making our way back to the freight depot. We're going to go ahead and start laying some groundwork for our track. It's going to allow you to uh, keep your tracks nice and smooth as you go. Since we're just doing this freehand for this tutorial, I'm just going to go ahead and left click to put our stuff in. If you're looking for a more precise version of this, you can subscribe to our YouTube channel and I will have all sorts of helpful tips on here for getting that perfect track that you're looking for. But for now, Let's just freehand our way over to the sawmill and lumber camp. Okay, so that was the G menu. That was the constant groundwork. I made a nice wide curve. You don't want to take anything too sharp or you'll derail. Come back here and start from this end. He's just about done warming up by now. So let's get some track down and show you how to drive. So we're going to click in here. Go about this far. I'm just going to run. Continue your process until you run out of space. Eventually we're going to end up down that way. Doing pretty good. Easy start. Fairly straight track. Not too bad. You see a bunch of big wiggles. You need to come in here and delete. Like I say, I'd come in here. Delete a couple of these. I'm going to try and rear the straighter. Aim for the end point. I've got a nice wide wobble instead. Should be fine. At some point, you're going to want to come back here and put a switch in. You're going to want maybe some flat rails here, for instance. We want to break it off to the right. Come in here, rail, switch right case we're going to snap it onto the end point and in our track I'm going to make it a little smoother here nice okay you also want to come in on your constant grade at this point maybe snap it here somewhere if it's up too high like this uh, your track will be higher you can see it's coming through the rails more on that in the detailed series. So we're going to start here maybe instead and work it down. Great depot, like so. How to drive your car. Uh, switches. If you keep an eye on the left track, you can see that the rail is going to send us to the left. If this thing was to the right, you can also see that it would send us straight. If you're coming back the other way on the rail, follow the left rail rule here. If you follow the left rail down, you can see it's going to, oh, there's no connection here. We're going to jump derail the track as you come in. So make sure you set the correct way and it would look more like rail. And then, yes, you're connected. You can keep going. Here, we can press F. You can control it manually. Regulator is going to We're going to take our brake off. We're going to put it in reverser. It's going to go up for forward, back for down. You can also turn our regulator off. At this point, come over here, snap our car in, right click to put the pin in. We are now moving. Take our brake off. Check your switches. Looks good. Press V to take your view. Click and you can change your view around. At this point, I would back up, make my switches, grab my other cars. Go in full regulator. We don't have a generator or compressor on this. If you're going up a steep hill, you can use sand. Turn your bell on. Cylinder cocks make it look nice for the steam. They don't do anything functionality in the game right now. If in the event you end up crashing, or losing your train, 
You come back here. Don't re-rail it. You have to walk along your existing track. Drop it onto the train like this. If you need to switch it around, let's say you want that brake handle the opposite direction, you're going to re-rail it. You can hold left click and drag and drop like this. Left click, drag and drop, and then the, you switch the direction of the car. Put your brakes on and continue your game down to your sawmill and your logging camp. Well, that's it for this tutorial on track building and a crash course in how to drive your trains and railroads online. We'll see you next time on the track building series.